Hello there, kiddies. I'm Kerry, the vacuum tube witch. And I've got a little project on my bench. <laughs> Let's get to it without without too much talking because uh, there's not much to talk about. Other than that, um, I uh, managed to code the Hell World uh, on Commodore 64. made a short video about it because um, there's not that much <laughs> to show on a uh, full format video. Maybe I should code it in assembly language so that uh, Usagi Electric considers it <laughs> good enough for <coughs> the contest. But Commodore 64 is not very uncommon and esoteric <laughs> so might not be good enough let's get over to the bench let me show you what i'm trying to figure out so uh, you might ask what is this box on on the bench a bunch of cables This is uh, my uh, new little project. Uh, I've been thinking about uh, making this for a long, long time, and uh, I finally got around to doing that. It's a thermometer with a uh, 400 uh, millivolt. Uh, range uh, millivoltmeter it uses the LM45 uh, temperature sensor that sensor is uh, 10 millivolts per 1 degree Celsius and uh, I learned about that chip um, from an um, IMSA guy Let me find some schematics to go over. I will explain uh, what I'm uh, trying to do here. Oh yeah, got you, pesky little bugger. Let's let's zoom on in. So uh, we've got the LM35 uh, temperature sensor chip. It's a uh, standard TO92 enclosure. I already soldered it uh, with the cables and uh, put some uh, heat shrink tubing to protect it uh, against um, the outside uh, conditions. This chip uh, can uh, measure positive and negative uh, temperatures. Negative uh, up to minus uh, 55 and uh, positive up to 150. Provided that it is uh, powered from uh, a um, dual uh, power supply, the um, positive and negative rail, and the resistor <coughs> has to be of uh, such a value that uh, the rail voltage uh, must uh, drop uh, 50 microamps uh, across it so uh, it's just uh, the ohm's law and uh, if we have uh, plus minus 5 volts uh, for uh, powering the chip like uh, in my case we should use uh, 100k and we are good to go 
looking at um, the thermometer, it's already wired. There's the main switch. This uh, rotary switch uh, is uh, a sensor selector. We've got uh, five uh, mini DIN uh, sockets uh, for the sensors. Just because I found uh, mini DIN uh, four pin connectors <coughs> and uh, decided that uh, the sockets uh, were cheap enough and reliable enough and nice enough to use in this application. This enclosure is a reused enclosure from an old uh, pH meter that used uh, this uh, Megatronic uh, V628 uh, millivolt meter module. I uh, had two of those uh, pH meters, one I will preserve, and this one I discombobulated. There was a uh, hybrid op amp uh, named uh, what was uh, what was the name? Uh, I seem to have forgotten it, but oh, HL, HLI uh, HLY seven double six R. That uh, op-amp was also used uh, in the Megatronic uh, V640 analog multimeters. And I used it uh, for repairing one uh, damaged uh, multimeter. <laughs> multimeter. <laughs> so... This device uh, served as a parts donor. I mean the uh, original pH meter. It served as a uh, parts donor for a bunch of uh, my projects. Uh, repairing the V640, the thermometer and the ADHD, the advanced dial home device. I still haven't uh, made a video on that uh, ADHD. But enough talking, it's time to, to get to the guts of this device. Let's connect uh, one sensor to the socket number one. The sensor should uh, indicate something like uh, 23 degrees, I guess. Let's plug this in. Turn it on. But the indication is a little bit off. Uh, 244.5 and uh, that's wrong. This is uh, a uh, scale button. I can uh, press it um, for a better resolution uh, or for a larger <coughs> temperature range. And uh, if I have uh, if I have it uh, pressed uh, I should be uh, able to measure with uh, higher higher resolution so well, I will I will have to change this uh, just a, a teeny tiny bit It seems that uh, I just have 
swapped uh, the positions uh, on the on the switch, turning off uh, the device. Uh, it's it's safe to work on. Time to get to the guts. Uh, let me test it again. So if I have it pressed, I want the, I want the extra extra resolution. So I have to swap the wires that go to the comma position selector because uh, there are two bundles of wires and they uh, they have uh, three wires for selecting the feedback resistor in the millivoltmeter module they have uh, two wires for selecting the comma position they also have the ground uh, positive and negative uh, DC plus minus uh, 14 volts and uh, there's the 7805 and 7905 uh, voltage regulator on uh, on this board that I made uh, for providing the um, low voltage uh, for the sensor. The wafer switch uh, selects uh, the, um, the sensors, uh, which ones uh, to power and uh, and get the measurement from. Let's try opening the Nixie millivolt meter module. Let's get to this, this thing because it's uh, interesting in itself. I will just uh, swap the wires when I work on it. There are two latches on the on the side of uh, of the millivolt meter and if we turn the screw to the left this claw will uh, engage and and then uh, by unscrewing the screw then the claw will uh, move further towards uh, the front pressing against uh, the back side of the panel pretty clever if you ask me and if i want to remove the insides of um, this millivoltmeter I have to unscrew those uh, two teeny tiny screws. Mm, not that teeny tiny, it's a regular M3. And then the millivolt meter will slide out uh, through the front oh come on for crying out loud just go it's a uh, sandwiched uh, construction of uh, two printed circuit boards
Damn it, I should have uh, made the AC wire just teeny tiny bit longer. It, it goes straight from the power switch and looks like it's not enough to pull the meter uh, from its enclosure. But uh, just a tiny peek at uh, at the voltmeter. It's a sandwich construction. The dis digital board and the analog board on the top. Ceramic metal uh, potentiometers. Seventy one for seventy four one forty one. Uh, Decoder driver chips and uh, 7475s uh, latched uh, flip flops and uh, 7493 deck uh, BCD counters. So it's just uh, it just counts uh, the pulses. So I will have to swap the wires on, uh, on the isostat switch rather than uh, inside the Nixi module. I'm having some weird wired discombobulation here, but it's recombobulated. <coughs> I will close the voltmeter and Put it back in its place and work on the on the range uh, selector switch. I will tell you what exactly that switch does. If. Uh, if we can uh, see it on the schematic. So here's the schematic. And the switch we are talking about, it uh, changes between, uh, between those two resistors. It gives <coughs> more or less uh, feedback to the input amplifier. And uh, that's how you change uh, the measurement uh, range of, uh, of this meter. I appeared to have uh, wired uh, the switch uh, out of sync with uh, with the feedback selector. So let's reattach the the meter. See, and then. This claw will press against uh, the front panel. Now I will have to 
take a dive uh, to swap the cables on the isostat switch. I'll unscrew the voltage regulator module. My favorite uh, prototyping method is uh, using perf board. I can uh, show you how I wired the module. It's uh, it's basically two voltage regulator chips uh, for capacitors and um, a uh, resistor. This uh, this resistor common for all the temperature sensors. Some connections on the bottom side. <coughs> Not much happening here. And by the way, then the middle button shorts uh, the sense line uh, to the ground. It's uh, helpful when uh, calibrating the device. Let's get some more light on this. So I will have to swap the green with the brown. There we are! We attach the regulator board. Then I can test it and put it back together. So, now it's time to test the device. Fire to the wire. 25.40 times 10. 25.40. This is uh, the extended temperature range. So this is pretty much recombobulated. I wish I had something to test it with uh, on the negative uh, temperature range. I think I will have to try it on my fridge. But for the time being, let's just put some more zip ties in this thing. I didn't go for lacing the cables this time. <laughs> Though uh, cable lacing is my favorite method up, up to now, but it's... Time consuming, it's beautiful, but it's time time consuming. Ambi dexterity helps. Oh yeah. Time to put it together. So, you might ask, uh, what am I gonna do with this device? I think I will use it as a um, inside and outside uh, temperature indicator. And I might also use it uh, for some uh, process temperature measurements. I'm holding the probe with my hand. The temperature is rising. A 
If I hold it against the level lamp, it's gonna be even warmer. As expected, the temperature is falling now that I took the sensor away from the level lamp. So yeah, that would be it for this little project of mine. I hope I will put it to a good use. And... I'll, I'll do some uh, more experiments with um, the Nixie tubes and uh, vacuum fluorescent displays and some old display technologies for sure. As long as I can uh, get those tubes, I, uh, I will do something with them. <laughs> And for now, stay determined and carry on.